Hi, we're at Advanced CNC Machining. We're in Grove City, Ohio. We specialize in four and five axis CNC milling. We want to give you a tour of our shop. Come get to know us. Right this way. So you can see right when you walk in the door that we've got a five axis mill and three four axis mills all joined together on one automation system called the MMC. You'll hear a little bit about that later with Kyle. Let's head this way. So these four machines, again, are connected on a palletizing system. Uh, this is the loading station. This is allowing us to lean on automation in a time when it's hard to find uh, great team members who are skilled in machining. Um, it's also allowing us to machine lights out. The whole goal is to be able to set up parts and leave them set up. We can set up up to 52 pallets on this system and pull them back out and machine those parts whenever we need to, but we don't have to tear them down. We can simply set them back on the shelf within this system. So these are our MMC2 work set stations. As you can see, Chuck's here helping us out. Chuck's one of our leading machinists here at Advanced CNC. And we have two work set stations with the capability of when the vehicle brings the pallet to the work set station, the operator intervenes, changes out the part, and then Chuck's going to go over and he's going to come over and set his material. He's going to let the machine know that it's completely okay to send into the, to the MMC. Some of the great advantages of the Moss A system will allow us to be able to not only run more efficiently through technology, but one particular system runs all four of the machining centers. So all of our tool length adjustments, all of our offset adjustments, all of our part programs, all of those functions are all being ran through the system, all controlled by one main cell controller. Well, one click of the button, it imports the tool information in, all your heights, diameters, and compensations. Once that's done, it's saved and it's, and it's categorized where it's built into your tool crib. That tool crib allows you to be able to, to fully utilize your tool management system for tool life. Uh, also, from an operation perspective, the guy doesn't have to look for those setup sheets. These are all of our restricted areas of guarding to enter in for maintenance. Uh, everything is interlocked in, so any human touches this door, unlocks, enters in, everything stops. As you can look down through the cell, you can see the vehicle, it's, it's tending to a machine and it's waiting for the pallet to be done. The vehicle and the, and the software are very intelligent to where that vehicle knows the next job that's gonna be off and ready to be transported is currently in machine one. So the software already knows that by the cycle time of that pallet, I'm gonna go wait for that pallet to be finished in machine one, so then it can place it into the stalker and be able to have the next pallet ready to go to, to achieve your, your maximum efficiency on spindle utilization. One of the unique things that we have done with our Moss A system is in between each machining center, we've actually added another complete monitor and computer system to be able to operate our tools in and out of each tool matrix. You no longer use the controls on the control panel as where you make any adjustments. All your adjustments on all your tools are found in your tool library through the tool matrix and you do all your editing functions based off of all your dimensions. All your offsets are all taken care of right here in the Moss A5 system. So we purchased this A500Z which gives us full 5 axis capacity on a larger scale than our typical smaller five axis machines which are DA300. So basically have 500 millimeter cubes all it can fit in its work zone. With that being said, as we look around, we've got over here on our, on our stocker, we have 12 pallets that are 500 millimeter pallets that are dedicated for this particular machine. So at any given time, we can mix and match parts, components, operations by table, use our Moss A5 system to feed the programs and the parts in the machine, one and done. So this is our newest addition to our MM seat, it is a A51NX. The difference between this one and our machines that we started with, a 60 tool matrix on our other machine, this has 133 tools, which is gonna allow us to gain longer cycle times, more parts that we can feed through our machine, give us more unattended time. 
with some of the new features added, we're going to allow us to run longer times unmanned. If we turn this way, we do have a couple of standalone four axis mills. We do a lot of fixturing over here. We can do smaller runs for customers. It allows us some flexibility if the job's not a great fit for the automation. And if we head down this way, we've got two more five axis CNC milling centers here, joined together by a robot made by Eroa. This is another system that allows us to run lights out, another system that allows us to make an operator's job easier. Everything's kind of happening at the cell. Um, one of our continuous improvement efforts right now is figuring out how to do that better for our operators. How do we make their lives easier at these loading and unloading stations? How to create an efficient workflow, something that's organized that they can work well with. Here at Advanced CNC, this is our first automation that we started working with. Three years ago, we invested with Makino and we purchased two DA300s with an Eroa ERC-80 robotic system with the cell controller where the cell controller is just like our MMC. The difference is, is we're able to automate more machinery with our, our new purchase with the MMC. This was where we started, where we automated two machines with one piece of automation. We've had such good success in the flexibility that we saw with this automation, which moved us forward to growing to our larger scale with our MMC2 to be more flexible and automate more of our equipment.